<laughs> I saw Bridget this weekend. You did? How's she doing? She's good. It always makes me happy when she remembers me. She must be huge by now. She's actually smaller than any of my three cats. Like, she's very petite. She's a very delicate girl. Um, but, yeah, every my, my nephew graduated junior high, so everyone was over the house. So Bridget was kind of hiding upstairs. Wait, wait, wait. He did what now? That's a thing, yes. You have graduation for middle school. No, yeah. I, I'm just... He, he, oh, I know. You too. I know. He's going to high school. It's not even right. He's like, My other nephew is going to be able to drink in October. He's like three years away from being able to watch the show. I know. My oldest nephew could watch the show if he wanted. Oh, wow. So, and we have the entire archive online? Yeah. So, oh, God. He just go back through all, all of Aunt Terra. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah. Your Thanksgivings are going to be amazing. I'm either going to be the, an even cooler cool aunt or my image is blown. It's hard to say. I wonder what it's going to be like when he realizes you were talking about him on the internet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know about it. Oh, no. He knew his cat was famous. He knew his cat was famous, yes. Yeah, he knew his cat was famous. He knew Bridget was <laughs> beloved by all. I told him he should monetize that cat. I was like, you could go to college on that cat. Yeah, Instagram. I, I, I built you an audience for her. Instagram that shit. His, his eighth grade class got to pick their song that they would sing together for graduation. And none of us got it, but you probably will after I've been told what it is. They chose to sing John Denver's Take Me Home Country Road. And we were all like, a lot of, a lot of John Denver fans in the eighth grade? Bunch of 14 year olds? Fall like, out. Fucking Fallout like, 76. I'm like, your teacher picked that for you, right? And my sister, God God love my sister, goes, no, he said it's from like a Mimi. I don't know what that is. I'm like, Fallout 76. Oh, I love you so much. A Mimi. She's like, I know. He says I say it wrong. It's a May May. And I'm like, it's not that either. But yeah, then someone explained to me that it's um in, Fallout 76. A video game. But yeah, we were all in the church like, are they R really take me home, West Virginia? Because we're in New York. You know, when I when I did show choir and stuff, it never occurred to us to troll the fucking audience. And they did. Like, everybody was just like, oh, OK. We should have done that. We don't we don't get it. And then later at the house, he was like, yeah, no, it's a meme it's from a video game. And I posted that to Twitter, and Gearman was like, God, Tara, it's from Fallout. And I'm like, I don't play video games, but thank you. Well, you should. It's a, it's a meme because it's a terrible. That's the thing I noticed. It's a meme because it's a terrible oh, video game. Hi. Oh, what a sad sound. All right, you want to go? All right. If, if the game had been good, they wouldn't want to sing it. But since the game is terrible, is that what it is? is yes. That I That's, thought it was just that it was in the game. No, it is a. It's the worst fucking thing. It's a terrible game. It's garbage. And that's why. God. I, I, my nephew doesn't play that game. Like my sister doesn't let him play violent video games. Really, he plays a lot of driving games. So he knew because of his friends. I'm about to say this is like you know, what's wrong with kids today? But no, this is the exact same thing as. In real life, someone tells you, don't do that thing. And you just keep doing that thing. Yeah. This is the evolution of that. This is you just know, the digital Twitter. version. Like Twitter. Uh, all right. Well, now that we've done all of the pledges. Sit here and sniff my feet while I'm on the internet? Okay. Well, thank you. Let me know if they get stinky. <laughs> well, no, He's like, can... Peggy's in my bed. What the fuck? Now we've accomplished some pleasantries. Let's uh, get to the news. Go, go, go. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong? Crazy. And, um. I'm crazy for. I, you know, if I ever need to find an alternate name for this show, I figured out what it needs to be. 
Um, the alternate sh name for this show is going to be um, It Happened Again. <laughs> and I say that because son of a bitch. Four-year-old drives great-grandfather's SUV to gas station for candy. And the face, that kid became a meme. A may A may may Because of that face. Because he's like, what? I wanted a fucking Snickers. <laughs> Fuck you. You're not you when you're hungry, Tara. <laughs> it's true. Oh my god. All right. I said, a four-year-old boy, four years old, Jesus Christ, four-year-old boy drove his great-grandfather's SUV to a gas station in Blaine, Minnesota on Tuesday morning during rush hour. The boy, Sebastian, was incredibly able to back the Hyundai Santa Fe out of the driveway make his way through neighborhood streets and drive on a busy four-lane street during morning traffic after snatching the keys from a hook on the wall using his grandpa's walker. This is like the millennial version of Dennis the Menace. <laughs> like Dennis the Menace used to get into wacky hijinks. Oh. This is this is the new version. He steals your fucking car to go get candy. Someone in the channel is pointing out it's the Luigi death stare. It is. They see me rolling. They hating. Yes. <laughs> um, a witness reported someone driving erratically around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Oh. But it wasn't until Sebastian made it safely to the Speedway gas station that police realized it was a child behind the wheel. Needless to say, Sebastian's driving skills weren't flawless. He took out a few mailboxes, dinged a tree during the 1.5 mile trip. Boy's family's just happy he's safe, but in the end, they say they'll lock up the keys and keep a closer eye on him. He could have hit a car. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt. I'm impressed he could reach the pedals. You know what he might have just done? Just put it in, in drive and let it... Uh, probably he wasn't even reaching the pedals. It was just in drive. Oh, yeah. He was just going forward without his... Yeah. That's likely what he did. I, Imagine I, being this cop. <laughs> you're called to follow an erratic driver. Yep. You meet him at the Safeway, and you're yep. like, all right, this guy obviously drank too much. He needs to get home, whatever. And then... It's this little Moppet who's like... They represent the Lollipop Guild. Right. He's um, like, I wanted some fucking fruit by the foot. <laughs> that kid's face is just amazing. I know. Like, not a single fuck. <laughs> Fuck the police. I just, I love that he climbed up the walker to get the key. <laughs> it was an SUV, too. Like, we're not talking about a small car. That's a boat. That's a fucking boat. Yeah. How was he even seeing over the dash? He's like, his head doesn't come up over the steering wheel. I wonder if it's one of those that has, like, those cameras in it. So you could see when you're pulling out. It was just watching the camera. Yeah, but that only works backwards. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That didn't help if you can't see over the fucking wheel. You gotta watch your kids, man. You gotta watch those damn kids. You gotta, just for candy. It's one I'm point. Tell you, my niece is three. She will 100% be this kid, except that she's very small for her age. So she will not be able to reach, reach the pedals. But, like, she wasn't interested in the graduation mass. So Uncle Dan and I hung out with her in the crying room in the church. Do you know what a crying room is? <laughs> No, I don't. Is that a Catholic church, thing? Sometime in like the 90s, churches suddenly decided that crying babies was a huge inconvenience to Jesus. And they all installed these rooms in the back of the church with windows so you can watch the mass and speakers so you can hear the mass, but so you can have your kid not screaming. 
we yeah. so that's a thing so we were just hanging out in there and this this one was like super luxurious it had toys and shit and she was throwing little foam bricks at uncle dan's head we had a great old time um but yeah she's she's a little hurricane and she would 100 percent be this kid you back there snoring peggy i'm on the internet baby we can't just sit there and snore she can't actually she's like yeah i can fuck you do what I want. Here's another game of It Happened Again. <laughs> this is one I didn't think would happen again. Uh-oh. Do you remember the cardboard license plate? Yeah. The elaborately handcrafted cardboard license plate that they tried very hard to paint to look like a real one. Yeah. Which did not look anything like a real one. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. They've upgraded from cardboard to acrylics. Oh. Fake California, a fake California license plate didn't fool a motor, motorcycle cop or spell the state's name right. Oh, honey. A tractor trailer homemade license plate wasn't good enough to fool a motorcycle officer. Um, the plates numbers were crooked, scraggly at all different sizes instead of the clean yellow font you would expect. But that wasn't the only clue. No, no, you gotta you gotta tune in on this one, folks. You gotta you gotta be really careful to spot the fake here. Instead of the state's name, the plate said Califas, which is Spanish slang for California. Um Really? Yeah. Senior Deputy David Anaya uh pulled the truck over said the driver appeared to be under the influence of narcotics in a tractor trailer um after a dui investigation the driver was arrested on charges of driving under the influence of methamphetamine possession of methamphetamine and being an unlicensed driver he also had an active warrant for hit and run driving cool the truck was towed away because it was unsafe to drive Cool. What was? Does it say what was in it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't mention what was in the truck. But I just, you have, okay. It would occur to me, who is not a criminal, that were I to be a criminal, in an automobile, it would behoove me to have all of my documentation in order and presentable to a legal authority or law enforcement. I think I've mentioned before that I have made this error. Did you make your own license plate? No, but okay, I was then. with a suspended license in an unregistered car with no proof of insurance. Look at it. Did... And the only reason I wasn't in jail was because I'm a nice white lady. Did they use Sculpey on this thing? I know, like, it looks like a junior high art project. I know, this, I mean, honestly, I could see this hanging in, like, a diner or some shit. Yeah. You know, like, wall art or something. Like a teenager's bedroom. Right, it's like a kooky little little yeah. hole-in-the-wall place, you know, something like that. Not on a truck, this... You gotta put the real name of the state. Yeah, yeah. It's... Like, if you're gonna fake a New Jersey plate, you can't spell it G-O-I-S-E-Y. <sighs> Even though that's how half the state pronounces it. Joycey. That's not going to work. <clears throat> not going to work. I, I just. You got the meth and all that. Uh, what? What the? No, it's fine. I've got the license plate covered. Right. They'll never cool. suspect a thing. Right. Yeah. At this point, just steal someone else's. It would have been a better, more convincing. You probably would have had a better chance of getting away with it, yeah. If you right, if you're... Because cops don't run... I mean, your, maybe this was a stolen truck. Cops don't run your plate unless they have... A, you give them, you know, reason to, or you blow through a speed trap. That's not true. Oh, the, the, if, they're, the, if they're behind you at a red light, they'll just run your plate. Eh, fair enough. I got pulled over a few weeks ago because my inspection was a week out of date. I didn't realize it. I got it fixed. I am I am a legal driver these days. But it was just the statey happened to be behind me at the red light, and they run your plate if they're behind you. Well, you have a better chance of them not noticing. 
a better chance. If yeah. you use a real damn license if plate. If you have a real license plate, you have a much better chance of, you know, getting away with it than if you do arts and crafts. <laughs> then they're going to they're going to know something. <laughs> He did get he, he did get a participation ribbon though. That's that's. Um, he got that. Well, at least you tried Bart Simpson cake <laughs> from the Maymay. Now let's go from something uh, things that keep happening inexplicably to this is a fucking first. Oh, um, okay. We've had people stealing cars on the show. Um, we've had people crashing cars on the show. Um, I've had people fucking cars on this show. Usually, however, they are not the Amish. Amish man steals car, crashes it, goes to bar. Amish man is facing charges after he allegedly stole a neighbor's car and then went on a somewhat unsuccessful drive. According to court documents, um, Jacob... That's not what horsepower means. <laughs> um, Jacob J. Byler of Puxatani. Um, he was uh, Patrolman Wittenberg and Offer, Officer Moni uh, were on patrol when they observed the airbags deployed inside a dark gray Nissan Rogue in a restaurant bar parking lot on West Mahoning Street. Uh, officers noted this vehicle's hood was dislodged, the back passenger side fender was scratched and bent, and there was visible grass and mud debris on the vehicle. Um, officers then made, can't, um, made contact with the man outside the bar, identified as Jacob J. Byler. According to the complaint, Byler told officers, quote, he couldn't lie and that he took the car. They immediately read him as Miranda writes. Byler allegedly went on to say, all right, this is after they told him he could be silent. Uh, he said he knew his rights <clears throat> and continued to tell the officers he went to his neighbor's house with the intention of getting a ride into town when he noticed the keys in their vehicle and decided to take it. Pause. There are a lot of things in life that look like, oh, that looks easy. I could try. I could do that. Yeah. Driving is not one of them. Harder than it looks. Harder than he reported that he lost control of the vehicle of vehicle. Who am I? Check off <laughs> nuclear vessels. Uh, he lost control of the vehicle and hit an embankment near an officer's residence. Wow. So he crashed it near a, co a cop's house, but continued driving. He added that he did stop at a gas station in town for gas. So at least he filled up the tank. Uh, based on the investigation, Byler was arraigned. Theft by unlaw unlawful taking, uh, felony three. Receiving stolen property, felony three. Unauthorized use of motor other vehicle. Byler is free on $40,000 bail. So the Amish. Grand Theft Amish. Yeah, that's the, that's the show this week. That's, that's it. Game. That's it. Grand that Theft Amish. That should be a fucking video game. <laughs> like, the Amish are usually quite religious. They don't do this kind of thing. That's why they eschew the mortal via modern trappings of society, because they feel that it's sinful and it separates them from God. Then they do the Rome Spring of thing, yes. Yeah. Maybe this was I don't maybe this was I don't know how old this guy is, but that's not how you do it. No, it's not. No. Also, there's that whole thou shalt not steal thing. <laughs> or, you know. If you don't want, if you want to call it borrowing, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's property. Tara, he filled the tank. Come on, man. Which weirdly he did after he bashed up the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he probably saw the price of gas. And he's like, look, if I fill this up, that'll cover the cost, no problem. And then he went to a, <clears throat> a like, bar. I don't, something's, and then he like, no, I did it. Yeah, I, I totally did it. Oh, can't lie, that would be a sin. <laughs> that would be wrong. What the fucking hell? I mean, I hope, I'm glad everybody's okay. Yes. But yeah, it's not like 
driving a horse and buggy. No, it's not. No, whoa, with a car, nothing <laughs> happened. <laughs> Now I'm, I'm just picturing him inside the the, the 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 driver's seat, like where the hell are the reins on this thing? Yeah. The Pulling on the wheel, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, next. This is well. This is another one that hasn't happened before, but I guess I guess time is catching up with us. Um, and I know after I just even mentioned the name of the story, we're going to get a billion angry comments just oh. because of what we're going to talk about. Okay, let, let's just go with the. Uh, with the headline, Bitcoin Millionaire embarks on Truck Stop Ladies Room Rant. Oh. Indian River County, sometimes being a multimillionaire isn't what it's cracked up to be. Take the June 4th case of James Groves, 51, at a truck stop in Barrow Beach. Indian River County Sheriff's deputies went to the establishment, spoke to the manager, uh, she said a man entered the ladies' room and hollered at workers who asked him to leave. Deputies found the man, Grove, drinking Four loco, a canned alcoholic beverage available in varieties including fruit punch, hemp, and sour crepe. That's padding the word count. Grove we smelled of... Ad for Four loco, thank you. <laughs> Grove smelled of booze and had a hard time standing. Groves told, de Groves told, de told deputies he, quote, lives in Malta and has only $8.8 .8 million of Bitcoin on him. Malta, the capital of which is Valletta, is an island nation in the Mediterranean Sea about 50 miles south of Italy. While, this article is so educational. While Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency currently accepted by few brick and mortar businesses. Grove said he had nothing else to pay for a hotel or friends to call. He did have two new flat panel monitors, five bags of clothes, and other items. Groves refused to leave. I asked if he could use a credit card to get a hotel room, and he stated he does not have any money except $8.8 million in bitcoins. It was immediately clear whether bitcoins can be used to bond out of jail. That's in the fucking article. <laughs> None of that tells me why the fuck he was in the lady ladies' room yelling at people. Well, Tara, he's had, he had he had eight point eight million in Bitcoin. I mean, do bathrooms take that? Tara, I, I don't think you understand. He had eight point eight million in Bitcoin. Yeah, it's pretty much like those coins that Mario hits his head on, right? No, 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 you, you don't understand. You see, he had 8.8 .8 million in Bitcoin. So, you know. So, like, he's the Monopoly guy. <laughs> he's got a big old pile of fake money. The mo <laughs> I just, I... What happened? All right, I, I don't know. I, what the fuck happened here? What is going on? And for another thing, okay, there are two ways you can keep your Bitcoin. You can either store it online in, in a vault or a locker, which is not considerably safe because those get hacked all the time and people steal the Bitcoin, or you can keep it on a secure, like, uh, key fob or a USB thing that's called cold storage. <laughs> take from you. Yeah, it could be stolen from you. I mean, I guess they could take your wallet too, but... But well, what you do is, if they take it from you, you encrypt it, so they can't use it, but you can't use it because they stole it from you. But um, you encrypt it, and that's called cold storage. So it is quite possibly he had, you know, all of his Bitcoin on a little USB stick, and that's it. He, he had it. It's all on a USB stick, not connected to the internet. Is one Bitcoin equal to one dollar? No. Okay, so 8.8 .8 million Bitcoin could be like $10. Well, one Bitcoin is equal to about $6,000 last time I checked. So that conversion rate is not like, he's not a super millionaire, actually. No, if he had $8.8 .8 million in Bitcoin, then he had like, oh, fuck, that's math. Yeah, exactly. That's math. But um, regardless, yeah, he, he could have had this, but... 
Oy vey. That's, that's... And can you convert Bitcoin to real money? You can if you get someone to buy it from you, like a commodity. Even though it's marketed as a currency, which is accepted very few places, but people trade it like a commodity. I'm still not clear on what the point is. Nobody is clear on what the point is. Bitcoin. Nobody. Like, I don't understand the why of Bitcoin. Nobody is, cl nobody is clear on this. Nobody, nobody. Is it just like hipster money? No. Because I think even, even then we're, we're getting, we're kind of getting sick of it. But this is this is not how you. I mean, suddenly you get eight point eight million dollars. Hooray! Don't go scream at people in the ladies' room. That's yeah. Even if you have eight million dollars in real money, they won't let you do that. Well, they probably will in the end. You'll get off, but don't do it. I mean, two words, Tara. Elon Musk. Yeah. He does whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah, his current crusade is not having to credit people for artwork he posts on Twitter. He turned his fucking, uh, he turned his avatar black like a fucking 10th grader. I know. Like, God damn. What the fuck? The he's world such, doesn't understand me. He's such a weird, gross little boy. He is. Oh, okay. We've got this. Bill Tony Stark, by the way. You think he's saving up some Thanos? I promise you he is not. Th th this next one. Oh. I, I I don't know whether I'm angry or I'm proud or angry or or proud. This kid, this 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 fucking kid. All right, um, man steals Howard's pizza truck, gets delivered to jail. Clever headline. <laughs> Clever headline. Um, Tracy Rosenbaum, Great Falls Tribune. Clever headline. Um, don't blame Howard's pizza if your dinner was late Sunday afternoon. According to police, a box elder man allegedly made off with a running pizza delivery truck around 4.30 p.m. Isaac Leo Wells, 20, is charged with felony theft and misdemeanor driving without a valid license, reckless driving, possession of intoxicating substance, and two counts of misdemeanor theft. According to charging documents, a Howard Pizza's employee reported to police that someone had stolen his running delivery truck. The truck contained his phone, and the pizza oven mounted in the truck was full of pizzas ready for delivery. Uh, the car was located. A Howard's Pizza box was found on the ground next to it. Police talked to the car's passengers, who indicated the group was hanging out at that location when Wells showed up in the pizza truck. Wells gave the group pizza, which everyone ate and enjoyed. That's in the article. According to court documents. And then he asked one of the groups to follow him somewhere so he could dick ditch the truck. So this guy steals the pizza truck and takes all the pizza and gives it to his friends. Like a stoner Robin Hood. <laughs> and then he's like, bro, bro, okay, I, I know you like your pizza. Can you do me a solid and help me ditch this thing? Thanks, bro. That's cool. Uh, I, I gotta get rid of this. Gotta get rid of the evidence, man. <sighs> when police attempted to interview Wells, he reportedly became hostile. The officer said Wells was yelling obscenities at him and detected the odor of alcohol on his breath. I wonder why he didn't have a license. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, who among us hasn't gotten, gotten drunk and stole a truck full of pizza? <laughs> Fair. Fair, yes. I, I, oh, I'm the... Like, if I was going to commit a felony while drunk, I would at least want free pizza out of it. I do respect that. I do love that he was just like, yo, you know who loves pizza? My friends. Yeah. I got all this pizza. I love you guys. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. Can I get a ride, though? <laughs> I ditch this truck. So this is, this is like, from two very different perspectives, this guy. On the one hand... You're coming out the perspective of the pizza delivery guys like, fuck, this little shit stole my truck and I can't deliver my pizzas. I'm going to miss out on tips. And on the other hand, you're coming at it from his friends. He's like, hey, Isaac showed up and we all got pizza. He's the best guy. He's the worst fucking guy. He's the best guy. The dichotomy of man, Tara. The dichotomy of man. 
true. This Ninja Turtles reboot doesn't look promising. <laughs> you know what doesn't look promising? Isaac's haircut. Oh yeah, he's got a special. He's got a special. Uh, the in the channel, the crazed spruce. It's not delivery. It's a felony. <laughs> yep, that's that's right on. Yep. Finally, this week, of course, we had to have someone going all out nanners. It's not a week until we end with nanners. This is just like, you remember Dagwood, the Dagwood sandwiches? Yes, this is this, big. this is like a Dagwood sandwich of problems. Um, Altoona arson That's suspect shot. found, shot. <clears throat> yeah, that mugshot, found in stolen uh, the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation vehicle with flamethrower. Okay. Suspect okay. is... Now in custody following a weekend fire in Altoona, according to the Altoona Police Department, Jarrett Unkst, I, oh my god, that name is killing me. Unkst. Unkst. A-U-N-G-S-T. His name is like what the beats in EDM music sound like. Unkst, 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 Unkst. Jarrett, we'll just call him Jarrett, is in custody for a blaze that broke out at a home on Chestnut Avenue early Sunday morning. Police say they found Unkst Sunday in a stolen Pennsylvania Department of Transportation vehicle with a flamethrower and a propane tank inside. They haven't confirmed that the flamethrower was used to start the house fire. According to police, Unkst worked for Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, but did not have permission to use the vehicle. When fire crews arrived on the scene of the fire Sunday morning, they found the front porch engaged in flames and say the fire quickly spread to the roof and throughout the house. They also say the fire damaged the exterior of a neighboring home. Um, Unks is facing a slew of arson and theft-related char charges. Police say Unks has a substance history of substance abuse and was exhibiting signs of having used drugs. I was arrested. Now, now I say that Mr. Unks is in for some angst. Really? 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 Tara, really? Um, I mean, really? Where was this, the article I found? Um, I had another article. I, I, I looked this one up because there's another detail they're not saying here. About, like, why he burned down this particular house? Um, yeah, here we go. Um, oh, here's, here's a better, better shot of the mug shot. Doesn't have the picture in the way. There we go. Um, let me copy that. Cause there was details in here that got left out. Um, yes, that was the detail. Because <laughs> that seems like an important one. A Blair County man is in custody Monday after police say he set his home on fire. <laughs> See, this wasn't just a case of him going to some random house and setting it on fire. He got fucked up, stole a work truck, and set his own house on fire with a flamethrower. Like that you do. That is a fuck of a hangover coming. Yeah. Oh, man, what did I do last night? <laughs> well, got good news and bad news. Um, the good news is you don't have to go to work tomorrow. Yes. The bad news is you can't sleep in. The bad news is you burned your house down. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have somewhere to sleep for the next five to ten. That's true. Yeah. Rent free. What kind of drugs was he on? Come on, guess. <laughs> guess. Yeah. Starts with an M, ends with an oh shit, my house is on fire. <laughs> uh, he's on pri he's in prison on a $50,000 bail. He's scheduled to have a prison. And that's that's another thing. Had he not damaged his neighbor's house, even without damaging his neighbor's house. You can't burn your own house down. 
Yeah. That's not allowed. It's still a mess to the public. I, I, I wonder if he was thinking, well, it's my house. Yeah. We'll just and call we, it we, renovations. Yeah, we've discussed this before. Like, within limits, I think you should be allowed to burn your own shit. I don't know if you should be allowed to burn your own house down because, you know, my right to punch ends where your right to not be punched begins, etc. Tara, it's a very budget conscious remodeling is what it is. Yes. It's, you know. And also it was cold. <laughs> but I'm starting to understand now why there's such a fucking pothole problem up here. If this yeah. is what the OT Department. is doing. The Department of Transportation, where are they? They're on meth with flamethrowers. It's fucked from hitting potholes all the time. Because <sighs> y'all are on meth burning down your houses. With a flamethrower? Where did he get a flamethrower? Elon Musk. You got a flamethrower from Elon Musk. That's what happened. Got a fucking flamethrower. Dan assures me you can build one pretty easily. <sighs> of course you can. Yeah. Has Dan it tried? Were he here, I'm sure he would tell you how. He was chemical corps in the army, so yes. He's told me all sorts of creative ways they have set things on fire. His favorite trick was setting the air on fire. Just air. Yeah. There are things he's not allowed to talk to my nephews about. <sighs> so the, uh, the first thing we learned this week is, yet again, um, meth is the bad drug. Don't do the bad drug. Don't do the med. It's nothing good comes from it. Look, we, no. we go. Literally nothing. I've never heard of anyone having a good time on meth, ever. We've got better drugs. That won't blow you up making them. We've got leak. Rip your own face off. Here in Pennsylvania, drive down to NYC, get some fucking pot. It's legal. You have to drive up to NYC from oh. Pennsylvania, but yes. It's fucking legal. And then we can legalize it here in Jersey. So you might not even have to drive that far. Get you some pot. <laughs> get you a lot of some, coffee. Do it's, some fucking whippets. Whippets are harmless and legal, man. I, Just buy a bunch of fucking ready whip. I wouldn't. Yeah, you're going to kill brain cells. <laughs> well, you're going to kill brain cells no matter what drug you do. I'm going to kill brain cells, but only the weak ones. That's a lost cause. <laughs> There are legal drugs. You could do the legal. Do the legal. Ugh. We've learned this week that one man can be two things to many people at the same time. It's all about perspective. We're getting all philosophical and shit. Tonight. Also, no, we're getting like deep. Also, even though he was many things, but all of those things had a terrible haircut. Yes. Um, we got to do that again. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I normally don't make fun of people's appearance and shit, but. Haircuts are a choice. Right. I'm you may make fun of your nose, but you picked that haircut. You made this decision. You, you decided that was what your head was going to look like. Come on. Yeah. That's a choice. Um, you we, chose to put a bowl on your head and do this. We learned there are many sides to the Amish. Yeah. Amish, they're just like us. I'm going to get shit for that. I should get shit. That was terrible. Why did I say that? Oh, my God. That was horrible. I mean, who's who's going to yell at you on YouTube? The Amish? <laughs> Probably not. I don't think we have a lot of Amish viewers. I'm just going to take a guess. I'm sure 62 people in the YouTube comments are going to assure me that I'm wrong. But I'm going to take a guess. And say that we don't have we, a lot of Amish No, no, viewers. we don't have viewers. We have one guy who, who in town who watches it for the Amish community. And he writes everything down. And he goes to the Amish people and, and he reads stage play. Yes, he reads what happened. That's how it that's that's how we got out Amish viewers. I wonder who plays me. I wonder if she wears a red bonnet. Um we've learned that legal documents and arts and crafts are not compatible. That's that's not how that works. No. You can't you can't build a license. It's not You can't just make one. No. And finally, we've learned. Yet we haven't learned. We've we've got Burma minded. Watch your damn kids. Yes, please. They are they are fucking holy terrors. I spent two hours with my three year old niece Molly. 
And I'm telling you, like, every time we took our eyes off her for two seconds, and there were two of us, she was outnumbered. She got into every lip gloss in my bag. And one of them I think I have to throw out because she put it on and then just did this <laughs> with the wand. Kids will get into some shit. So you, you were looking at her one second, you looked away, you looked back, and suddenly she looks like she's in Kiss. Yes. <laughs>